Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are sharing our night routine to prep for our 5 a.m. wake routine and in the middle of cold season. So if you want to see our routine, just keep watching. So I typically get home from work right around 6.30 and Mike picks up the kids from daycare right around 5.30 so he has them for about an hour before I get home and tonight we decided to do Chick-fil-A. We go out to eat about once a week and this week was Chick-fil-A. Typically I will do like a crock pot meal, something low carb healthy, paleo, um, but tonight was a little bit of a treat and we got to have Chick-fil-A. As soon as I get in the door, I will make sure that the kids are fed. Um, tonight, Mike wasn't feeling very well, so I was kind of solo routining it tonight. Um, I just give the babies kisses and get them some food, and then I start to kind of straighten up and get myself comfortable for the evening. Of course, I can't forget to give my biggest baby kisses, especially since he isn't feeling good. Um, and then I typically will fill up my water. After I've gotten comfortable, I'll fill up my water and then I will sit down and eat. I'm usually up and down about 10 times. I also just pointed out that Mike is sitting at the counter and looking at his phone because there wasn't room at the dining table. Um, I'm having an avocado lime ranch cob salad from Chick-fil-A. This was my first meal of the day. I have been intermittent fasting and doing low carb and trying to keep my calories restricted so that I can lose a little bit of weight before we have our big trip coming up at the end of January. Um, also just wanted to mention that our water filter on our fridge is like 99 plus days overdue. Um, I just think that's funny that it says like 99 days. Um, I will typically pick out my tomatoes from my Cobb salad um, just because I don't really like the tomatoes from Chick-fil-A in my salad. Um, but here I am like getting up, washing my hands because I need to prep some more food for Riker and I don't want to do so with dirty hands. So I'm just scrubbing my hands with some Mrs. Meyers hand soap and peppermint and then using a peppermint scrub bar as well. Um, and then I am just cutting up Riker's food for him. So Kaya is typically the first one to finish her meal and Mike just set her up with our letter board to keep her busy and to practice her letters here. Um, so that's what we will typically have her do to just have her sit down and enjoy some family time. Um, Riker was not happy. He entered his seventh leap today, poor guy. And he also is getting over a double ear infection and popped a front tooth. So he was feeling a little rough this evening. Um, after he is done eating or towards the end, I will start to prep his evening bottle. It's usually right around 7 o'clock that I start this um, official bedtime routine. I'll get his bottle ready first and then I'm just using some Highlands Tiny Cold Tablets getting Riker's amoxicillin ready for him because like I said he does have a double ear infection right now and then I am prepping a couple of glasses of Airborne for Mike and I because I am just at the tail end of the cold that I caught from Riker and Mike unfortunately is just catching his. Here I'm giving Riker his antibiotics. Um, like I said he's just on the last couple days of that. He takes it super great as well. He's usually pretty happy about it, likes it because it's like bubblegum flavored. Um, and then I will get Riker out of his high chair, bring him upstairs, and get him ready for bed. We do bath nights every other night, and last night was our bath night, so tonight we don't need to do a bath. Um, so I'll get him dressed to give him his nighttime bottle, and then I will get him into his sleep sack. We use the Nested Bean um, Zen Sleep Sack. We've been using these since he was a few months old. Nested Bean sent us a few of these swaddles and sacks back when he was just a tiny little guy and it has definitely made our nighttime routine so much better and he 
will stay sleeping through the entire night, which I think is amazing. He also loves his little bunny. Um, I try not to let him sleep with it, but he just is so attached to this little thing. Um, also, I wanted to point out that the little machine on the side of Riker's crib is a sound machine from his Graco um, pack and play. It just makes like noises and stuff. It fit perfectly on the side of his crib. So that's a little mom hack for you guys. Um, and then I will lay him down, turn on his sound machine, and then turn off the lights. And then I headed downstairs and drank up my Airborne. And apparently I had a hole in my lip because I kept spilling all over myself. Um, and then I'm giving Kaya her Highlands Tiny Cold tablets just because colds are going around the house. Now she hasn't really gotten sick yet um, and I want to avoid her getting sick. Um, and then I'm also giving Mike his glass of Airborne as well. And then I just start to pack up for the nighttime or bedtime routine for Mike, myself, and Kaya. I grab my backpack, turn all the lights off, and then we get Kaya's jammies on. I give Coda hugs and kisses. Aspen just had puppies. As you guys know, I'll have a video linked up here for you guys to take a peek at Aspen's puppies. But Aspen is in her enclosure downstairs. Um, we don't have kennels. We just have large, they're almost like zoo habitats for our dogs. Um, so she's down there with the puppies and then Coda is sleeping with us to keep them separated. After Kaya gets her jammies on, we brush her teeth. Um, we will typically brush them for a little bit in the beginning. For the purpose of this video, we just let her brush them and we use the frozen crest toothpaste. Um, and then she has an LOL surprise um, electric toothbrush. Anything to get this kid to brush her teeth. And then we typically will tuck her in, give her smooches, shut off the lights. Um, we've been trying to avoid iPad at bedtime and she will typically get out of bed three or four times before she actually goes to sleep. Um, here, Mike's just laying down, poor guy, he does not feel good, um, and he's snuggling Coda. So while he's snuggling Coda, I am going to get ready myself for bed, and I'm going to wash my face. I just use like the up and up like morning wash stuff, I don't really know what it's called, it's just a gel wash for my face, it's gentle foaming, um, so I will wash my face, and I have been very careful around my eyebrows lately because if you guys haven't seen my video, again, I'll have that linked up here for you. I just got my eyebrows microbladed, um, so I'm very careful um, about not scrubbing them. And then here I'm just applying my facial lotion um, for the night and really making sure that I give myself a nice massage. Um, I brush my hair because during the winter time, my hair gets so frizzy and gross and um, I typically will shower in the morning. Um, and then I just brush my teeth and then I put my retainer in, put my glasses back on, and I'm ready to go. To prep for our 5 a.m. morning routine, I like to set out the kids' outfits the night before. Here I'm setting out an extra outfit for Riker because he needs one for daycare. Um, and then I pick out Kaya's bow for the next day. I get all of my bows from a Little Ruse. I'll have a link down below for you guys. Um, little Ruse is based out of Minnesota. It's a little online boutique and I absolutely love their bows. They're super affordable. Here I'm putting Kaya to bed again. She has changed into a sundress. Um, we have to pick our battles. <laughs> and then I'm just making sure that my all of my alarms are set for the next morning. 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. is my emergency alarm. And then I make sure that I have my water. I kind of tidy up my nightstand. Um, remake the bed a little bit because I typically do not have time in the morning to make the bed. So I'm just kind of fluffing my pillows and I'm ruffling Coda's feathers. He's such a little snuggle bug and he loves to lay in, be in between Mike and I every single night. He's such a baby. And then I will typically get on my laptop and start editing a video. As soon as I'm done editing a video, I will just hop into bed and go to sleep. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this night routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video on my channel, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love if you joined my little tribe on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below with your next video suggestion, and I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye, you guys.